Welcome back to the Plays With Cars YouTube channel and another episode of Project Porsche. It is finally time for some racing. First, some prep work. Alright, racing is tomorrow, but as anybody who's been racing, whether it be autocross, drag racing, track days, whatever can tell you, preparation is key. You've got to be prepared. Uh, you can't just go to a track and hammer on a car and expect things to not happen. Uh, you know, you can, if you don't torque your lug nuts, you can lose a wheel. If you, you know, don't bring a helmet, you can possibly not run if they don't have loaners. Stuff like that. So it, it's always worth having all of your ducks in a row. So uh, I've had Project Porsche out here. Uh, as you can see, it's finally clean. I washed all the dirt and grime off of it, so it actually looks halfway decent. But mostly so are new magnets uh, from Autocross Digits work correctly. You can see I've got them all arranged here underneath the bonnet as a safekeeping to keep them nice and flat and out of the way. Uh, I got my racing bags here, my helmet, my co-driver's helmet. We have our torque wrench there in the bottom. I just got done torquing all of the wheels. Uh, I'm going to torque them again when we get to the event. It's about uh, 45 miles away from here. Um, and, you know, <laughs> we literally just came from the tire shop. I haven't even done enough miles to get the chalk marks off the tires yet. So we're going to try to work those in uh, tomorrow, get some, some miles on the car. Uh, take the long way there, basically try to get everything worked out so that tires are ready to go. We will torque them again. Battery hold down is underneath this and it's all factory and done correctly. Snow is there. Uh, so basically I've taken care of everything. Tech asked me to take care of annual tech. We got the new numbers that contrast. We got new tires. Um, we also obviously upgraded the tires, you know, the top of the class uh, RE71Rs. Um, basically the car is ready to go. I've already taken the floor mats out of it um, and anything else that's loose in the car. You can't have anything loose in the car. Uh, so like I said, floor mats are gone and then in the boxer, this little ashtray thingy just comes out and it like flies all over the place. It's kind of notorious. And then the drink holder plastic thingy in here. Basically anything that's not bolted down that you could just grab and rip uh, can be taken out. Um, there's no clips or anything holding any of that stuff in. It's just gravity. So take all that out so we don't have any dangerous uh, things in the interior smacking at us everywhere. Got the uh, owner's manual out of the glove box and all that stuff too. Shed all of the phantom weight that I can. The car's completely empty. There's no mat in the trunk. There's no mat in the front. You could see I already took out the spare tire. Uh, one, I'm not going to need it. <laughs> and two, I do have roadside assistance with this thing. Um, so if anything happens, knock on some wood. Uh, we can call them and have them come out and patch the tire, or do whatever. So, um, but yeah, we should be completely ready to go. The event tomorrow, um, which and I don't know, this video will probably not go live uh, before the event. But the event is tomorrow, and um, it's supposed to be really cold out, uh, like freezing. So they pushed it back by an hour. So instead of having to arrive at 7:30, we don't have to arrive until 8:30. Uh, to kind of save all of us that drive on our tires, uh, 200 trigger wear tires do not like cold weather like that. And then the guys that trailer, they don't want to be out there either. So uh, they push everything back. Racing doesn't start till 10 now. Uh, should be above freezing by then. It might still take some life out of our tires, but frankly, they're date coated last year anyway. Nobody's got fresh ones in stock anyway. Um, and this is kind of our base set. And that's just the... One of the compromises you have to do with a car that you drive there. I don't have a trailer. I can't trailer this thing. And frankly, trailering a street class car just blows my mind. I wouldn't do it anyway. So uh, we're just going to live with the tires. I've had the 200 Treadwear Falcons on the Cobra out in the uh, freezing before. And they've lived up all right. Obviously, they're not on the same tier as these. But same kind of idea. Max performance summer. So tires should be okay. Car should be okay. Um, I warmed up the car, I checked all the fluids and stuff again, she's completely ready to go. So all I gotta do is get a good night's sleep, charge all the batteries in the cameras, make sure all the memory cards are empty, and uh, get to the track. So, um, and we've made it. We are here at beautiful Portland International Raceway for our first event in Project Porsche. We are signed up for uh, C Street, and then my co-driver is in C Street Ladies, that's her uh, right there car is in line she's all set to go so uh she's gonna run first and i'm gonna run second because that's how they've got us going and yep we'll see uh we'll see what happens we're finally here project porsche is at portland international raceway for its first autocross ever uh, my co-driver's at the wheel it's the street ladies index and she's getting ready to take off on one of her competition runs Uh, 
conditions out here are dry. It's about 35, 36 degrees though, so it's fairly cold. Sure is nice to be out racing though after the winter we've had. Looking pretty good. Clean. That's what we need. Alright, hopefully that turns out.